I've had the fortune to be able to travel to quite a few places filming for this channel. A best of video is one that I've wanted to put together for some time now. For this episode, I've selected 28 of my favorite beachy Shelly moments from the past three years. If you've been watching my channel from the start, thank you. You certainly may recognize some of these moments. If you're new here, welcome. You're about to see some of the best from the channel. These aren't in any particular order, as I feel each moment is one that most any beachcomber would consider spectacular. We can consider this like a greatest hits so far playlist. I hope you're ready to dive in. Let's go. Number 28, an orange colored channeled whelk, North Fork, Long Island, New York. Look at the beautiful color on this channeled whelk. This is like a, an orange channel whelk. I've never seen one that color. They're usually brown or dark gray. This one is bright orange. That is, that's very pretty. Wow. There's another one here. So we can see the difference in color there between the two. Number 27, Perfect Crown Coat, Patillas, Puerto Rico. Score, look at this awesome cone. This might be my best one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Sorry, you can't see it. Oh man, I don't know what kind of cone that is. But that is gorgeous. Wow. Number 26, Fossil Ladder Whelk from the Presumpscot Formation, Southern Maine. Okay, so I just found this. I mean, it looks like a northern whelk, a waved whelk, but honestly, I'm not sure. There are other types of uh, species of gastropods in Maine that they're not very common, but they're, they're arctic shells. Um, this may be the piece of one, um, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research. This looks like it might be a common whelk, but then again, it's a little bit narrow for them. Usually the uh, waved whelks, the common northern whelks, are a bit, a bit fatter. That's interesting. I'm gonna keep it because I think it might be an Arctic uh, species related to the whelk, the northern whelk. But uh, the latter whelk comes to mind. There's um, a species that looks like the northern whelk that's called the ladder whelk. Uh, this might be that. All right, cool find. Number 25, perfect aquing conch, Punta Viento, Puerto Rico. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this made it all worth it. Look at that beautiful hawk wing. Oh my gosh, wow. What a gorgeous, gorgeous hawk wing. Okay. Number 24, Juvenile American Pelican's Foot, 
Plum Island, Massachusetts. All right, y'all, I just found something really cool. And if it's what I think it is, it's ultra rare. Oh, I can't get it out. Oh my gosh. So this is a juvenile American pelican's foot. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Normally they have a little uh, wing here on the right hand side. Uh, this is lacks that feature. Uh, I can tell just by looking at the aperture there, it hasn't developed. So this is a juvenile, but this is absolutely stunning, man. Wow. Cool find. Number 23, Orange Lion's Paw Scallop, Palm Beach, Florida. And this, guys, that's a bright orange lion's paw. Number 22, Albino, Florida Fighting Conch, 10,000 Islands, Florida. All right, so we are headed down to a beach. I don't know the name of it. Um, but I parked my car at the top of the hill at a gate and I'm walking down in now. Uh, it's pretty remote here. There's a couple signs posted for trails and stuff, um, but it does look beautiful. So hopefully we can find some cool things down here. I'm the only one here. It's very, very remote. So hopefully everything's okay. Number 21, Kauri Honey Hole, Yabucoa, Puerto Rico. I just found a little honey hole here with all of these cool cowries and a helmet. Now, I'm not gonna keep the helmet because I have a lot of those. Uh, there's another little cowry here, and that's a nice one. Look at that, this is what I really wanted to draw attention to, these beautiful cowries here. Look at that. One. Two, three. So, <laughs> I don't need all three, but that one's broken, it's got a hole, so I'll leave that, and I will take these two. That's so cool, beautiful cowries. Okay, y'all, I think this is like <sighs> a honey hole beach here, because there's quite a bit of Cool stuff. I'm not kidding, there's another cowrie here. And this one is absolutely whole. Oh, don't want to drop it. Drop it. This one is in really, really good condition. I'm right under a tree, I'll back up. Look at that. Beautiful cowrie. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wash it out. That's the best one of the day. This guy is in much better condition. That's the best cowrie of the day. That one's beautiful. Number 20, Polson's Triton, Juno Beach, Florida.
Number 19, Fossil Iceland Scallop after Hurricane Fiona, Southern Maine. Y'all, I am not kidding right now. Look at what I just found. Look at this. This is a whole Iceland scallop. O-M-G. Holy. I am so excited. I found a, this is my first whole Iceland scallop ever. Again, we are storm shelling today in the remnants of uh, Hurricane Fiona. Wow, this is, that's unbelievable. Number 18, two huge lightning whelks after a storm. Cayo Costa, Florida. Y'all aren't gonna believe this, but follow me down to the ocean here. Look at this Mondo Welk. Look at this. I can't even get the whole thing in the shot. Whoa, baby, and it's empty. I wanna take this, but that's, do you see that? Look at that, that was just sitting on the shore. Oh my gosh, let's go wash it out. Uh, definitely gonna keep this one, this is beautiful. I gotta get this stuff before the tide comes in, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. That is a lightning whelk if I've ever seen one. Number 17, huge northern moon snail after Hurricane Fiona, southern Maine. Okay, I found this right after I filmed my outro. That is a gorgeous moon snail. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Look at this. It's the best one of the day. Woo! Wow. Google Maps sent me down this crazy road. Good thing I have a Jeep Wrangler, man. You guys gotta see this road. This is insane. I'm at the end of it now, but holy crap, there was some points where I felt like I wasn't gonna be able to get through. In 100 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Number 16, Angular Triton, North Caicos, yeah, sure Turks and Caicos. Here we are. Literally the end of the world here, man. You've arrived. This is crazy. All right, so I'm just closing out my day today, walking along three Mary Kays here. Uh, as you can see, I'm looking at the sunset, the beautiful sunset, and I was like, walking back, you know, I collected a lot of shells today. <laughs> and then I was like, how awesome would it be, I'm almost back to the car, to find one more great shell to close the day out. <sighs> and let me tell you, Ladies and gentlemen, the angular triton. <laughs> what are the chances that I said how awesome would it be to get one more shell? Great shell to close the day out. Literally 100 feet back that way. And then I find this gorgeous angular triton. Wow, I gotta get a picture of this. Okay. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this beach is. Three Mary Kays, guys. And a beautiful sunset to match. Number 15, Caribbean vase shell pulled from the surf, Jupiter Beach, Florida. 
All right, I want you to see this, y'all, before the tide takes it out. A beautiful Caribbean vase. That is my favorite find of the day. It's kind of weathered, but not too shabby. And right before a wave comes to get, woo! See? So that's kind of cool, because that would have gotten washed back out. And I just happened to see that uh, wash in. So I am really glad that I found that. That's a cool find. Caribbean base. Right, that, that last wave would have taken that back out, so kind of cool. Number 14, Fossil Sea Biscuit, Harduinia Mortonis, Holden Beach, North Carolina. So I don't know what these are, but I've seen a few of them. Oh my gosh, they're really heavy. I don't know, there's some type of urchin, but they're extremely heavy. Kind of cool looking though. I'll find out what it is. Number 13, Harp Laura Shell, Southern Maine. If we get closer here, there's a really cool, I think, I don't even know what this is. I do not want to break it though. Oh my gosh, look at that. But it's so tiny. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking. This is crazy. Uh, it's another juvenile dog walk here. Where is he at? Right there. Okay. This pile is a really, really good one. It's hard to get so close, y'all. Another juvenile. Surf clam. This is a great pile. Ooh. And it's cold, y'all. My eyes are watering. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's move over a little bit. Here's what I found so far here in this pile. Ah! I dropped something. Really successful mini pile. So this is some of the cool stuff that I found. Uh, I'm particularly excited about that little whelk there. I do not know what that is, but that's super cool. Number 12, True Tulip, eating a gaudy natica, Key Biscayne, Florida. All right, so I'm walking down along the north beach here to the fossilized reef view and uh, we'll see if we can find anything. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not expecting much, but we will see. Hopefully some live creatures. Okay, so I just found what I believe is a true tulip. So I'm gonna Check it out. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. That's a true tulip. That's a live true tulip eating a Gaudi Natica. Oh man, look at you. Beautiful shell right here. This true tulip is having dinner. So I will let her back where she was. Number 11, live common northern whelk. Southern Maine. Okay, I just found something really cool, y'all. This is a live common northern whelk. I've, well, he's not alive. Uh, if he was alive, he would retreat. Oh, he is alive. I'm going to put him back in the water. What a beauty. Look at that. That is so cool. He needs to get back in the water, though. I'm going to put him in. This is a live. Look at the, the animal inside. It is black and white. I've never seen one of these live before. 
That is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go put him back in the water. So you can see that a lot of times during storms, uh, all kinds of creatures and critters will get washed up. So I'm gonna put this guy in the tide pool here. Now the tide is coming in, so he's going to, he's gonna get swept back out, uh, but we'll put him in. So there we go, buddy. So hopefully that helps him out. Uh, I don't know what kind of condition he's in, but I've never actually seen a, uh, an, a live northern whelk. He was stranded up at the high tide line here. Number 10, grabbing a light colored Florida fighting conch with a purple aperture from the shore break, Passagrill, Florida. I just found, and I can't lose it here. Guys, this is amazing, but I can't lose it. Where is it? All right, right here. Where's she at? I'm gonna lose it. Got it. Okay. Y'all, this one's extra special because it has a purple opening. Look at this. It's my first Florida con uh, fighting conch with a purple opening. I'm very excited about that. That's cool. That's a fun find. <laughs> it's my first Florida fighting conch with a purple aperture ever. And you saw it right here on my channel. Number nine, two Florida Natica finds. Juno Beach, Florida. Really nice one too. Ooh, that's a beauty. Okay, nice one. Okay, y'all, I found something really cool here. So if you can see this right here, hopefully you can. So this little guy right here is called a, well, my nickname for them is Teddy Bear Naticas, right? So they're, <laughs> That's actually not the name of it. It's actually called a Florida Natica. Um, but the Latin name is Natica Ted Bayeri. And these are cousins of the uh, gaudy Natica that we all know and love. Uh, but these are called Florida Naticas and they're only really found uh, in Southeast Florida. But that is a beautiful shell. Teddy Bear Natica, just kidding, Florida Natica. Number eight, perfect, New England, Neptune, down east, Maine. There's a bunch of them here, another one here, tons of them up here. Let's see if we can find one good keeper, because I do like these shells. They just have to be in good condition, because I have so many at home. How about this guy underneath here? Oh, that's just a piece on top of another well. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look, 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 look. Neptune, Neptune. Oh my, it is in perfect shape. Look at this. That might be one of the best I've ever found. Wow. Holy crap, how is this in such good shape but the scallops are weathered? I'm literally in love with that. Wow. These, these shells are very, very difficult to find uh, because they're a deep water shell and you just, you can't find them in good shape like that. This probably came from a lobster pot and just washed up right here. I don't know. Number seven, perfect Atlantic Hairy Triton, Palm Beach, Florida. All right, y'all, 
Another great find. Look at this. Wow. Oh man, it's an Atlantic Harry Triton. Look at this baby. This is definitely one of my favorite finds of the day. Look at this. Look at that gorgeous shell, man. Wow. Number six, two perfect king helmets. Yabucoa, Puerto Rico. All right, everyone, so I know I made it two steps here and I found an even better helmet nested right here. This one is in fantastic condition. Oh my gosh. We are gonna go clean this one off because this is really, really good. I think this is the best one of the day. So let's see. Get all the gunk out. Look at that beauty. Beautiful. Yeah, you, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Another helmet, and this one's in really, really good shape. Wow, look at the shine on that. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw back some of the other ones that I have because I have quite a few of these. I don't wanna be over collecting here, but that's beautiful, man. Look at that. That's such a beautiful helmet. Number five, Base Gallop Honey Hole, North Fork, Long Island. So I just found a honey hole. A honey hole is uh, a spot where there's a lot of awesome shells all in one small location. And uh, this is one of those spots right here. So check this out. I just stumbled upon it. Uh, so there's tons of scallops, channeled whelks, there's a knobbed whelk here, um, another channeled whelk. And of course, all of the beautiful scallops here. Uh, another beautiful lemon scallop, lemon colored. Uh, I still have to get the color here because the sunlight is so bright. Number four, perfect scotch bonnet after a storm, Cayo Costa, Florida. Number three, fossil rejected Neptune from the Presumpscot Formation, Southern Maine. Y'all, oh, look at this beautiful Neptune. I'm not kidding, another gorgeous one. Oh, this one's thick and spicy. These are just popping up everywhere. 
That's a nice one. Ooh, looking down the barrel. Love it. Number two, massive adult queen conch, middle Caicos, Turks and Caicos. And there are some queens piled up here. So you got one there. And then this one actually looks like it might be kind of nice. Oh, wow. Man, look at that. This is the most spectacular queen ever. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm tempted to take it, but it's so heavy. It's like 20 pounds. <laughs> look, at the, look at the pink interior. That is so gorgeous, man. I do want to take a photo. Number one, live juvenile queen conch, North Caicos, Turks and Caicos. So the joy, I just was walking along the eelgrass here and I found a live queen conch and I want her to say hi, say hello. Hi, oh, it's raining. I know you're probably scared. You're probably scared. How are you doing? You're a pretty one. I haven't seen any live queen conchs since I've been here. Hey, look at those eyes, so beautiful. What a beautiful creature. I'm gonna put you back where you were, mama. Okay, and it's starting to rain. Okay, I'm gonna stop camera again. Ah, it's raining. Thank you all for coming along on this special adventure. I've mentioned it before, but want to reiterate that I appreciate each and every one of you who takes time to watch this channel. And worry not, I have so much more content ready to go, and I'm also filming new content for this channel whenever I'm able. I'm looking forward to the next top 28 moments, and I hope you are as well.